Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to create this RGB liquid text animations inside of After Effects. So when you're in After Effects create a new composition, I will call it main, make it full HD 30 FPS and around 2 seconds long. Then we will create the background by double clicking on the rectangle tool. I will also rename it and call it background and you can give it whatever color you like. Then click on the text tool and create a new, a new text. I will just write text, center it by using the align tool, also make it bigger, center it again. Then duplicate the text layer by pressing Ctrl V and then create the mask with the pen tool just like this. So we only have the um, lower part of the text layer. Then go to effects and presets and drag in the echo effect. Then we will change the values a little bit to something like this and number of echoes to around 300. Then go one second further, press P to show up the position. Click on the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe and then go to zero frames and drag it down just like this. So we will now have this echo effect over here, which already looks good. Then select the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Go to into the graph editor by clicking on this icon and drag the curve to something like this. Then right click, click on new, solid. I will just call it mask because uh, we will create a mask now dragging your mask under this text layer and go to your track mat at your mask and select text 3 so there will be a mask on the echo layer then we will edit now the mask layer for that we will uh, go to effects and presets and search for the area color gradients then we will quickly change the colors to whatever we like i will go for purplish color so we have now this gradient then we will also go to effects and presets again and search for turbulent displays just increase the amount and the size so will be also animated. Click on your mask again and then we will create a mask for the mask layer which will look something like this maybe. So we or maybe we will make it like this. Then we will create a new null object. I will call it master position because with that we will animate all of our uh, positions from every layer except the background layer then parent it to the master position then go to zero frames press p on your keyboard create a keyframe go to one second create also keyframe then go to zero frames again and just move the null object down just like this then select those keyframes again press f9 to easy ease them go into the graph editor and drag the curve to something like this so now we have this animation so far and we can also go into the mask go into mask mask one and make the mask path a feather to like i don't know 165 pixels and click right click new adjustment layer i would call it mask cc drag it under your master position then uh, there we will add a turbulent displays again we can just leave it like that i think maybe we can increase the size and the amount a little bit okay that's too much never mind 
this size as well. Then we will also add a radial blur to it. Just decrease the amount a little bit, maybe to five. This looks good. And then also create a mask on the mask layer again. Do something like this. Should be good. But then also go into the mask again, mask one, and give it a feather. So we will not have these sharp edges over there. So we will have this seamless effect, which looks way better. Then we will create again a new adjustment layer, call it CC, add a turbulent displays. We can just leave the settings like that. Add wave warp to it, um, make the pinning to all edges and let's also decrease the wave width and the wave height. Maybe to one even, so when we have like this slightly wave look. Then we will add a BR digital glitch and um, just play around with the settings a little bit. I will decrease the horizontal field of view and the vertical uh, field of view and also the master amplitude. I will make it down to around 30 and also maybe also to 20 and I will animate the master am uh, amplitude so that in the beginning it will be at 20 and at one second it will be at around 3. So we still have this glitchy look, but not like not like this. Maybe also we can increase this again. So yeah, we still have this uh, glitchy look, which looks pretty cool. Then the last thing we're gonna add is a deep glow. If you don't have deep glow, you can also use a normal glow. But uh, here we will make the exposure to uh, 0.10 and also increase the radius to around 440 and also the spread to 100%. Maybe the exposure to 0.2. Yeah, so we have a brighter glow. So, yeah, this is basically how you can create this RGB liquid text animation. I hope I could help you. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I would love to help you guys. And if you have any tutorial recommendations, also leave them down in the also leave them down in the comment sections. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. See you in the next one. On the left side I've added videos you may like. So see you there. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and ring the bell to not miss the next video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope the tutorial was useful, see you in the next one.